and upload one after another. And we did the same thing. We divided this uh, whole thesis into two parts and uploaded one after another. Within 10 minutes, we got the report. So for the first part, about 24 or 25%. For the second part, another 28%. 26 and 28. Of course, during those days, 30% was the permissible limit. It is prior to uh, the coming of this uh, regulation. So, since it was very uh, uh, tightly scheduled, so I asked the researcher to submit the thesis because the average 26 plus 28 divided by 2 is equal to 27, which is less than 30 percent. So submitted. We also got everything. Uh, everything went on well. There are two things. One is how can you arrive at the overall percentage of a similarity by simple averages? Because the first part comprised four chapters at about 325 meters. <coughs> Second part, another three chapters, roughly about 150. This is okay. So this is wrong. You should count the total number of words copied divided by the total number of words in your thesis. That is the procedure. Okay. Then after the submission of 475-page PhD thesis. Now, curiously, I started reading the plagiarism report. The report was about 580 pages. On 475-page PhD thesis, plagiarism report, single line roughly about 10.5 font size, 480 pages. I was shocked because normally each and every word in the PhD thesis will have my seal only after uh, I clear this. Otherwise, no question of a subject. I was shocked. Then I started reading then, surprisingly, I found 593 cases of plagiarism. 593 places where yeah, the, the detection tool found the similarity. 593. From seven sources. Out of these seven sources, one source was the candidate's first part or the second part. In the first part, now it compared with the second similarity report was given as 26%. In the second part, based on the first part, it gave the plagiarism uh, report at 828. Same report of the candidate, first part and second part. How can you say that it is a plagiarism? Same. Because in most of the cases, they upload even the chapter wise PhD thesis, not the entire first chapter, second chapter, third, fourth, etc., one after another. Then you will find similarities between first chapter and second chapter. How can you say that it is a copy? And friends, this is 500 and, I'm sorry, not 580, 570, 5 page plagiarism. And 28%. And then 7 sources. And major source was his own thesis, part 1 in part 2 and part 2 in part 3. And out of 593, 500 words from his own thesis, first part or the second part. Suppose, if the university had 
10% as the maximum permissible limit. What would have been the fate of the researcher? This is another. Now the second thesis, again guided by me. Now when this thesis was submitted after 2018, UGC regulations were applicable. The maximum permissible limit was 10%. When it was uploaded, we got 13% similarity. 13%. Higher than the permissible limit of 10%. Therefore, the university authorities asked the researchers to revise. Okay. Then, we had no other alternative because we had to revise this to reduce the plagiarism. I went through the report and before going through the plagiarism report, we revised. And when the revised report was uploaded to plagiarism detection tool, we got 1% plagiarism report. 13 to 1. Now the question is, how? We did not change any core aspect. Let me show. Now here, there are 19 sources. The plagiarism report stated 19 sources from which this researcher has copied. And from these 19, 504 instances of similarities were quoted. 504 instances of a similarity between this thesis and other works. Then, after submitting revised thesis, I went through the plagiarism report. 10 minutes, then uh, you can have interaction for about 15 minutes. That is my point. Okay. From 19 sources, 504 instances of similarities between this PhD thesis and other works. Then I went through the entire report and I found now this candidate worked on textile units in the cooperative society sector in Karnataka. There are two important textile units in Karnataka in cooperative sector. One is this Gadak, right, Gadak Cooperative Textile Mills and another one is Gadak, sorry, right, another one is, I think there is one more, I'll come to that little later. Right. Now, before this, one MBA candidate had worked on the same cooperative mill for his project report. Okay? So the student used the name of the company as Gadak Cooperative Textile Mills Limited Gadak. Another one is Banahati Cooperative Spinning Mill. I'll come to this little later. Gadak Cooperative. And even my researcher, PhD candidate, used the same Gadak Cooperative Textile Mills Limited. Only difference he has used capital letters and here both capital and small letters. Do you consider this as copy? Name of the company. Is there any alternative for this? And the plagiarism report gave this as 87% similarity. Because the name appeared in more than 100 places in the PhD thesis. In all cases, it gave the same, 87 percent. This is one. Now the second one. See here. Now my candidate used this set. Gadak Cooperative Textile is better compared to Banahati. He made a comparative study between two cooperative mills. As it, it continued. Again, MBA student used the same names. Gather cooperative mills, then here, gather cooperative mills, 
of course, he did not use Panahati, so the percentage of similarity is 46. Okay? He has not copied anything. He has used only the name of the company on which he worked. Still, it is Vichyas. There. Now, in the case of day 4, what I suggested to my guide was, instead of using Gada Cooperative Textile Mills Limited, okay, in all places, use your system, go to replace, compose this, Gada Cooperative Textile Mills, and the replacement, say, GCTML, abbreviations. First time he used the full name, and in all other cases, abbreviations. And this has removed almost uh, 120 instances of similarities. Out of 503, 120 uh, instances of similarities were removed. And then, of course, this is the UJC, but the institutions are not fully equal to uh, ensure that this type of terms are excluded from the similarity check. Now the second aspect. Okay? Now in the case of a commerce, management, economics, which are based on the quantitative statistics, performance statistics, Usually we present a table and below the table we are required to provide the source. Okay? Source for example, Reserve Bank of India or a report on trend and progress of banks in India 2022-23 published by the Reserve Bank of India. Mumbai. These are the countries. Usually the researchers collect the data from the source, analyze, make the calculations and the results of the calculations will be presented in the form of a table. Not as it is. Even if you reproduce as they are, it is not wrong. But in most of the cases, raw data do not serve the purpose. We analyze, we make the calculations. And the results are included in the table. Therefore, in the source, normally we say, say the table compiled, based on the data, uh, calculations made, using the data collected from the Reserve Bank of India. Report on this type of the report. Is it a copy? Now, in this report, see here, this is what my student used. Compile the table based on the data collected from the annual report. And even oh, in the first table. Right. In the first PhD thesis, which was also guided by me, since uh, I guided both the students, I used the same for both the candidates. First thesis and the second thesis. Same. It is not copying, but the plagiarism detection tool stated that it is 100% plagiarism. We are not copying. It is not the core aspect. Just we are providing how we compiled this table. And to avoid this, we use simply this. We removed that and used this. Annual reports of GCTML and BCSML 2009-2018-19. See, and this has removed 63 instances of similarities. In all tables, the similarity was removed. Then, we have one more. In the case of a commerce management, economics, etc. We use a lot of statistics also, ratios. 
So before presenting the table, we give some introduction. Say for example, in order to evaluate whether the company has adequate resources to meet its current obligations. We use some ratios like current ratio, liquid ratio or quick ratio. We give the meaning and how we compute this. Say for example, current ratio is computed by dividing the current assets by current liabilities. All researchers who use this current ratio to evaluate the liquidity use the same sentence. It is known. It is not that I have invented this. It is already existing. But still, the PHRSM detection tool shows this as PHRSM. See here, ratio is calculated by dividing the amount of operating profit by the amount of net sales revenue as presented below. Now even the first student used this. Ratio is computed by dividing the amount of gross NPA. See, the profit and the gross NPA. But the first few words are same. The ratio is computed. So the percentage of similarity is 55. And here similarly, it is calculated by dividing the amount of sales. 50%. It is not copied. It is only explaining the procedure followed to compute. Anybody can use. It is known. And again, see here, first thesis and the second split thesis. Here I have used 2016-5 in the last year. See here, 6,327.6 lakhs. In the last year, this in the last year is is similar in both the cases. In the last year is considered as copied. Therefore, the, similarly other uh, this CHR in here CHR there is no substitute. Compound annual growth rate. You cannot use a better alternative. Still, you have. This 52% percentage. Then we use even the descriptive statistics like mean, skewness. To interpret the result of a skewness to see whether the values are skewed towards a positive or negative, we use the skewness. And all researchers use the same interpretation. There cannot be any alternative. Still it is rich. And in the case of CV, standard deviation, we use this standard deviation to examine whether there was any wide variation in the value from one year to another year. Fluctuation. And everyone uses the same. And even this is considered as HRs. And friends, these are the examples where you should be very careful to minimize the percentage of the similarity. Okay? The best thing is, even if you are harnessed, PHRSM detection tool certifies that you are not harnessed. Therefore, you should be doubly careful. I don't put your work again and again for plagiarism check. Because once it is uploaded, it retains. When you re upload the same again, it compares with your earlier upload. Don't try this uploading again and again. Go to the final version. If there are any similarities, Try to improve, rephrase, change, wherever it is necessary, wherever it is possible. Okay? So, and if you need any additional inputs, you can refer to this material. And now, uh, it is open for interaction. We have another 10 minutes time. 
any question on this. If I know the answer, I'll react. Otherwise, I'll keep quiet. 